What is good people? Welcome to another full day of eating. Today is a work day, but it's stressed down Friday. And I thought I'd show you guys my full day of eating today. And also this full day of eating is gonna be based around the whole idea of no more excuses because when I make full day of eatings, I do go back and read the comments and a lot of comments I sometimes get are I don't know how to cook. I'm not in charge of my meals. I have to eat whatever my mom cooks, so how can I see progress? And all I keep thinking is, why can't you just tell your mom to put the food that she would normally cook for you to the side and then you learn to cook it yourself? I always believe in the majority of cases that they are just excuses. If you're not willing to learn how to cook or ask your mom to cook it differently, or what, anything along those lines. The only other option really is getting your food meal prep. But before we dive into the rest of the foods I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna eat throughout the day. Um, currently it's my lunch break, so I decided to drive up to the local park that I've been literally near my workplace and just enjoy the sun rather than sitting at my desk what, during lunch, which is normally boring. So I may go for like a little mini walk. All right, this is the first people, just chill in the park. All right, I'm back from a walk. I will say it was better than sitting at my desk. And also the next thing we have in is a protein bar, which is from PhD Whey. Uh, last week I tried for the first time the chocolate brownie one and that one was delicious. So I seen this one would just be as good and I can't wait to yam it down. Nice 20 grams of protein in it as well. Right, it's quitting time, so I'm gonna go home and then I'm gonna talk about this full day of eating. Yeah, for the most part, it's probably the title of the video, like full day of eating, but no excuses. No real reason why you can't see results yourself if you actually do the right and correct things and start making various reasons why you can't. But yeah, I'm gonna go inside and uh, quickly talk to you guys, and then I'm gonna go to the gym and start training and then get back to you guys and show you the rest of my meals. What is good, people? I'm now back home from work. Obviously, as you can see, I'm at home. Earlier on in the video, I was speaking about how like people have to make excuses, um, whether it's they can't cook. Because they always say they want to start building muscle, want to get in shape, or want to lose weight. The first thing you have to do is figure out your calories, just so you know roughly how much food you need to eat. Uh, but a lot of people keep saying they can't track themselves throughout the day, they just don't like doing it. So if that is the case, muscle food has this new thing, what they're doing, what they're doing is online, you can more or less put in your stats, and based off whatever you input, it will kind of give you a rough idea of, of the food you should be eating. So for example, it will tell you to put in your goal, whether you want to like try and be, build muscle, lose fat, maintain, and then from that, the next step is you choose your height, your weight, um, your gender, and based off all these factors, then it kind of provides a full day of eating of foods that you can eat. So it's usually three meals and three slacks, three slacks, three snacks if I'm correct. I'll be sure to show it on screen so you can kind of see the website and you know follow along what I'm saying. And basically that is the only other alternative because if you're not willing to actually take the time yourself to learn to cook or get your mum to cook differently or etc etc that is the way around it because then you just kind of put in your measurements and then they'll just send the whole delivery to your house. This company is Muscle Food. You've probably seen me promote them before. I've been using their products now probably for about five, four or five years now. So not, I know the stuff's decent, but what basically what they do is that all the food that you get in this new campaign thing is the foods that you can buy individually off the website. But because people often don't know how much quantities they should be eating, when you put in all your stats, it'll basically put it on the web page and it'll show you all the meals that you can either have for a set day. So it'll show you your breakfast, your snack, your lunch, another snack, then your dinner, then I think a final snack, which would be like your dessert. So those are just kind of things that you can kind of do if you really truly don't know how to do it yourself. That is a good solution because then it takes you having to think out of the equation and then it's also sent to your workplace or your house. I always send it to my work because it makes it easier for me to get the deliveries. So if you haven't gathered yet, I decided to give it for a try. So for the last four days, I've more or less been eating this kind of thing every single day to kind of see what sort of food you get, what it tastes like. And I obviously selected foods that I obviously like, like the, you've probably seen them in previous vlogs as well. I showed you the chicken kebab steak things. I'll show you in a minute. Um, cause I, I, I ordered loads of those cause also it's delicious. And if I remember correctly, you're allowed to do like uh, over, five days, six days and seven days for the food that you order. I opted for the six day um, boxes so the whole delivery came with six days worth of set menu. And if you need a refresher, it was these kebabs which I'm gonna eat now. It was these two, I showed you, in the, I think it was a previous video or maybe the one before. It's these um, 
Muscle food marinated chicken sticks. These are delicious. These, I think they're a new product because I, I haven't seen them on the website before. Or if they're not a new product, at least it's new packaging. Each one of these packets is 17 grams of protein. And they are like meant to be a snack, so you can actually eat them like out of the packet. But I said in the previous video, I'm not a fan of cold food whatsoever when it comes to like meats. So I always heat up in the microwave for around, I think it was a minute 40, I think last time. So I'm going to add two of these right now. Right, and uh, I was actually incorrect. This one is the Chinese marinated chicken. I didn't have this last time. If you watched the previous vlog, I think I had just chicken marinade. It wasn't Chinese anyway. But this is it, so it's like red sticks and they tasted They're pretty good. <laughs> All right, let's get on to the next meal I'm gonna have. Basically, it's the stir fry packet here, so it's gonna be plain chicken. I may season the chicken myself, but I'll most likely be using this thing again, because I like how it tastes, really, really good. From Tesco, I think it's roughly around 30 to 40 pence. Hopefully, you won't spill like half of it on the table like I did. So, when it comes to actually cooking the meat, I would say, depending on what heat you put it on, it roughly takes around 15 to 20 minutes. And then, obviously, you add the veg into the mix like in the last five minutes or so. You don't want to add it from the beginning, otherwise, it'll be like a lot more soggy and it's not as tasty. So, that's my quick tip. After that, after I finish eating that, I'm probably gonna take you guys to the gym with me, show you getting some gains. Stir fry is almost done, but I'm gonna add a little bit of smoky but smoky bacon sauce. Sorry, uh, this is currently at Asda for like one pound fifty on sale. So I'm gonna add that. Add a little bit of spice. This one tastes pretty good. There was two of them that was on sale, but I don't really like the other one. The other one was this uh, bullseye original flavor. I, I didn't like it, but the smoky bacon is on point. And there's the food right there. I've got my little fajita bowl. If I wasn't saving on carbs, I probably would have put it in a tortilla, but this is gonna be perfectly fine for me now. So I'm gonna eat this, uh, sit down, watch some friends, and then I'm gonna go to the gym, make some gains, come back, and then probably have a protein pizza, because then not having tortilla here will allow me to enjoy my protein pizza later. Company. Lovelies, I'm out from the gym. Oh, I feel like I'm dying. Gosh, but yeah, I got a nice little workout in. I didn't manage to train as much as I normally would. Uh, usually, I'd, I'd normally train a bit later because it's bank holiday and I went to work. I only had like 30 minutes here, so I had to just try and push in as much as I could. So for the most part, I just did abs and cardio, which is why I only filmed, filmed those two for you. Couldn't have time to do a full-on session. But I definitely worked up a nice bit of calories though, I'll tell you that. Like instead of doing LISS, I definitely hit training. I just like sprints, 30 seconds slow, 30 seconds fast. Then I changed up to one minute slow, one minute fast. And now I can barely breathe. See, before I go home, the next thing I'm gonna eat is my next little snack is these fulfill bars. I've never tried it before, so you know I'll do I'll have it now. It's like a little review. 20 grams of protein again. The whole bar is 200 calories. Hopefully it tastes like cookies and cream. We'll get close up in this face. It doesn't taste like Oreos, but it tastes good. Also, people, as I mentioned earlier in the video, one of the excuses I often get as well is I don't go to the gym, so I can't stay in shape. How do I do it? Obviously, if you can't go to the gym, whether you can't afford it or you can't get to one or you're not old enough yet, you can do home workouts. Like, you don't have to actually do what I'm doing. I go to the gym personally because I enjoy going to the gym and I'm more focused in the gym than I am at home. I have done home workouts in the past, but overall, I just know that I'm not as consistent personally. But that doesn't mean that you can't be. For example, I know many people that I used to anyone on Instagram I used to follow. They do loads of home workouts and I'm in fairly good shape. I wouldn't say they're the biggest guys, but they are definitely quite athletic and able to maintain a certain level of conditioning. You can even search my channel if you want to find any home routines I think I've got like two or three videos But for those of you that are predominantly trying to focus on say fat loss and you don't have a gym membership And you really want to see some difference in your physique Like most of you also have this DVD that comes with this whole do-it-yourself or do the unthinkable campaign They're doing if you don't go to the gym and you want to find some type of exercise The DVD contains a whole bunch of like hit training exercises that you can do in your house I help you kind of burn fat. It's a lot of plyometric exercises So you'll be burning and losing up a lot of calories so that's kind of aim of it. Um, when I get home, I'll, home. When I get home, I'll show you the DVD. And basically, I've bought the whole package as if like I am a new person. So everything in it is what you would receive if you went and purchased it. So when I go home, I'll open all the packaging and show you guys. But right now, I'm just kind of chilling in the car for like about 10 minutes before I go home, just kind of cool down before I carry on with the rest of my evening. But sometimes it's always good as well when you're doing all this training, you have a busy day, to give yourself 10-15 minutes just to 
unwind because so far it's been go 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 all right peeps i'm going to show you the next thing i'm going to eat it is the ch chicken tikka pizza so i haven't tried this one before um so yes protein pizza highly delicious i hope so anyway the mighty me has always been my favorite I've, i think I've, it's the main one i ever usually buy that one or the oh there's another one the one i used to get before that was like a chicken one all right well, i'll unpack this together I'm cooking my pizza from frozen, so it's probably going to take roughly around maybe 20 minutes. If you're cooking it and it's just like already, you know, floppy and it's <laughs> floppy, it's already defrosted, then it should only take around 8-10 minutes because all you're really doing is like just melting and warming up the food because it's already cooked pieces of food. Alright, the box is back and I'm going to show you the two things that I haven't even opened yet, which is the unthinkable letters. Uh, so the first, okay, the first piece of paper is just more or less telling you like what it's all about. Let's see what the big one is. Okay, the bigger letter, this is in reference to the training routine, which I'm going to kind of talk to you about. And this is based, if really, if you haven't got, if you don't go to a gym, then this is what's going to benefit you. If you do go to a gym, I guess you could try it out, but this is more for someone that's at home. Uh, so yeah, it has like a kind of day scheduled where you're meant to do it. So basically, if I'm gathering this right, you put the DVD in and it'll have all the exercises that you can see the guy do. And then you track your progress using that piece of paper I just showed you, so you can tick the boxes when you've done it. And then you're meant to follow it for 90 days. All right, my pizza is almost done, so I'm gonna finish off the rest of this video. But before I show you my pizza, I'm gonna kind of summarize what's going on. So as for the video so far, I, this kind of is meant to be a solution for those of you that always say you can't cook, you don't have time to cook, or you don't wanna learn, or you don't have, know how to calculate what kind of foods you could eat in a day, or what type of food you should eat. So basically the reason I'm calling this video the no excuses for day eating is because if, you don't, if you're not willing or you can't do the things I would normally recommend to you, which is learning to cook and learning how to track your calories, and actually get in the gym, this is video is for you. This video is for you, there's no excuse now. Use the meal prep food. So if you fit into the categories I've just mentioned, then this is the excuse. So don't be hitting me up in Instagram DM and coming with the excuses. Let's have a quick look how it's going on. Yeah, it's looking pretty already, look at that. Oh, the piece needs to hurry up. But the one thing I haven't mentioned is, if you do happen to use this package and this kind of service, personally, I would still advise you to try and track in my fitness pal at least one of the days just to like make sure the calories and everything you feel like is right for you. That, that is my preference. If you don't want it, you want to stick to it, then fair enough. But I personally still, it's always good to have more knowledge than less knowledge. So I would still do that if it was me. And especially because all the stuff have labels, you can scan it and it's just a quick thing. It's like a scan, 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 scan. You haven't got to search for it. It's already in my fitness pal. Now for the best news ever, the pizza is done. This pizza will be lucky if it lasts about four minutes. I'm going to devour that right now. If you tried their pizzas in the past, apparently they've changed the recipe because I tried it on Body Power and it's a bit different. The base and sauce is slightly different. But yeah, I'm going to eat this right now and start closing off the rest of this video. Also, if you're going to buy any of this stuff like this and try out this package, um, if you use PMG5, that'll be £5 off your order. So I'll be sure to probably put that on screen or it'll be in the description box. No excuses, people. Get them gains in, get them calories in, and make sure you progress. But yeah, I'm going to eat that and get back to you guys. I'm just going to show you my snacks that I'm going to eat. So I'll be having probably out of the barbecue zippers, because I think that's like Chris, or the beef jerky. Um, if those of you remember when I went to Peru, this is a jerky. I bought like about five packets with me. All right, people, I've ate all my kind of meals now. Hopefully, ooh, man, looking a little bit leaner. Thank God. I reached a low weight this morning. 163.8. But anyways, people, thanks for watching this full day being. Hopefully, may have helped you guys out there. But anyways, people, I'm about to just kind of retire. Sit down, chill. This is probably the earliest I probably got all my meals out of the way. As you can see, still some of bright outside. But anyways, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Um, one of the next videos is going to be a definitely a pretty cool video. Kind of got in the works. Um, hopefully, I can get, it, get my vision across properly. Should be a nice, funny video. But anyways, stay getting games. I'll see you in the next one.